So here we go then. Welcome to another edition of Game Day, the show where the KO Army share their thoughts on all things town. And it's a game under lights here at Portman Road. Cambridge United are in town. And of course, the Blues looking to make it back to back wins after the fantastic win on Saturday. I want to get good old team news with good old Regan. Let's see who's starting and stuff. <laughs> okay, then I'm joined by good old Regan. Team news has just dropped, my friend. Two changes from Saturday. Ladapo starting and Dominic Ball in for Lee Evans. Your thoughts, my friend? And tonight, another game under lights. Love a game under lights, Ross. Uh, yeah. Um, Ladapo, I can, I can see McKenna's thought on that. Obviously, come off the bench, made a good impact. Um, obviously, got a goal with his first touch. What more could you ask for that? And, you know, he's got three goals in three games. So, for a conf for the strike, for a striker's confidence, you know, they want to be starting this one and bagging another goal. Uh, Lee Evans dropping. Um, as, as, as I've heard, you know, people say he took quite a few, you know, digs at the weekends, you know, maybe picked up a knock or maybe just simply resting him. Don Ball now back fit. So, you know, Excited to see what he can do, maybe. We've only really seen him in the Pizza Cup games and coming off the bench, you know, in odd positions. So, yeah, can, gonna be interesting. Bring it on there, my friend. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night here. Under lights at Portman Road. It's just town three. Cambridge near. I'm joined by the two Matts, Matty Worrell, Matt, aka Bono, aka Vu from the YouTube. Boys, boys, boys. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Who, who wants to go first? Bono. When you order Mike and Mark from Wish and you get Matt and Bono. Um, 3 0. I'm slightly gutted. I predicted 4 0. But oh. was I? What do you think? Well, I went for 3-1, so I thought, you know, I didn't bag at the end, but no, I'm really happy with a clean sheet. Thought the substitutions changed the game. I think that's two games in a row, yeah. isn't it, that McKenna's got the substitutions right, and a word for the real Eduardo. The real Eduardo. He came on. Oh, my God, absolutely electric. Right-hand side, cutting in. Bada-bing, bada-boom. The, des the desire and pace for that second goal. Did he mean the first one? No, cross. Yeah, you, no, Just he, did. Like, <laughs> he did. He did. Simon Milton, 29 years ago. My first Ipswich game, I Ipswich 2, Cambridge 1, Milt's putting a cross from the same side, I think. Went flying in, it was a cross, he made it at the game. We'll see what Carl Edward, and the, and the dance for the second goal, I the little care. kind of Roger Miller thing. I couldn't care less if he meant it. Couldn't care less. Went in, did it? Went in. Goal's a goal. I think, I think when that first goal went in, Cambridge came here with a game plan to defend, low block, spoil the game, Bono. Football 1. Football 1. But turning up, but they had a game plan. and using your tactics to stop the other team playing is also football, people. Because if slash when we go up, we will probably do the same thing, but whisper it quietly, guys. Yeah, but I'd rather play. I'd rather yeah, yeah. play. I'd rather play. It's I'd be a game. bit annoyed if that was my team. Absolutely. Well, you know, can I say as well, Ross? Go, 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 we've go. got this wasn't a pack out Portman Road game tonight. No, as far as I'm aware. Rearranged game, wasn't it? Rearranged game. Twenty six and a half thousand fans in a time where people are struggling up and down the country. We've got 26,500, with bolstered by a, by a healthier waste port. Particularly but as today was the dedicated mental health game. Yeah. Um, people this, this game goes out to everybody who's struggling. Talk talk to people, reach out. We're all here as well. So but pe People are coming in through the gates. Our club is on the up. A what a community. Back. What a community. And, you know, keep playing like Cheers, that. Boys. We keep playing like that, Ross. We'll go up. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Up a tone. Okay, I'm next. I'm joined by Peachy. This time I'm hanging yes. here, my friend. What yes. a night. Here under the lights, 3 0. Take it away. Well, honestly, I thought that was going to drift to another 0 0. Oh, Cambridge are going to go and yeah, say Nick, the word. Uh, when the game. Yeah, and well, Nick won at the end, but to be fair to Cambridge, we're going to get teams, I keep saying, it's going to come here, going to play that sort of game, aren't they? Yep. And to be fair to them, they defended really, really well. Like they had a black back four, then five. We couldn't get down the wings. Oh, right. I mean, got us in the middle, couldn't get anywhere. And then we finally got a break in the box for the big cat's goal. Finally, finally. And then Eduardo. Eduardo. Oh. Uh, did he mean the first one? Of course he did. 
It's like me when I play football, just spoon foot up and hope for the best. But yeah, brilliant second goal. Just like I think Mr. Worrell said, just absolute desire. And to win that 3 0, I'm absolutely buzzing, boy. Absolutely buzzing. That's all I need, my friend. Brilliant. See you, Morgan Love. Yes. More cap, cap next on Joined by good old George Mann. Man, 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 what a night under the lights, my friends. Um, there's a lot been said so far. Let's switch up a little bit, mate. Right. I want to get your thoughts, but second game in running, Kieran McKenna, substitutions, boom. They just work, don't they? He is the master of substitutions, apart from Plymouth and Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we side those under the rug, but today they worked an absolute treat. Three subs, and I said Evans needs to come on. Ed was, wasn't too sure about John Jules, but they all came on and what an impact they made. They changed the game. John Jules at the back sticks. We need somebody in the box. He got it in there. And then that Ed was second goal. Did he mean it? I'm sure, he, I'm sure he'll go, I mean it. His celebration didn't look like he meant it, but I'm sure he did mean it. And then he got a second. Absolutely beautiful. But no, we, we played well in the second half when, when the subs came on. Sort of the first half, we looked very slow, but Cambridge wanted to slow us down. They had a game plan. They executed quite well until that first goal winning but that's sort of the results we need to get in these tough games we need to get the goals get the points and that's what we did tonight three more points at Portland Road three what six points now in four days yeah absolutely beautiful we're still not top of the league because Blimp got that 91st did they? yeah they've got they've oh, got 91st I know sake, league one football I know it's yeah. annoying I thought hey we're top of the league and then I saw that it's 91st like, oh. but that's annoying but we're on to the next one Morecambe next let's get three more points thanks man okay I'm next I'm joined by good old Jubster Oh, my Hi. friend, what an evening. Uh, we've had some great thoughts already. Yep. I was going to remix it, but I can't top think on the fly. So, yeah, your thoughts? <laughs> ah, brilliant. Uh, well, you know, I said on Saturday, you know, we needed to win this Saturday's game, tonight's game, six points. We've done that. We've come away with that. You know, you know to Colin Bono, if, when we go up, <laughs> it's, it's, it's happening, isn't it? It really is happening. We're starting to believe. Uh, again, inspired substitutions from Anne McKenna. You could see that Ipswich were, you know, they weren't huffing and puffing, but they were struggling to break Cambridge down. And then what a difference, you know, what a difference Carl and John Jules made. You know, I mean, John Jules opening that up, what a fantastic goal that was. And then Carl Edwards with those with that brace, yeah, absolutely brilliant, buzzing. Can't wait for Morecambe away. Can't wait for Lincoln at home. This is the thing now. Look at us. We're waiting. We can't wait yeah. for these games to come along now. Thick and fast. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. I want to add one more question, my friend. What I loved was the celebrations as well with the fans, the players. Even <laughs> Lee Evans was chucking Carl Edwards into the crowd because he wanted that him to celebrate his goals. And um, he's a bit, you know, he's a bit hold back. But no, go and celebrate those goals, my friend. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've all seen, you know, when Carl comes on, you know, the effort is there. We, you know, I won't criticise him, but the end product's not quite been there. Yep. Well, there we go. He's dealt with his, you know, silenced his critics today. Absolutely. He can put the ball in the back of the net. You know, hopefully now this is just the beginning of, of us seeing, you know, Carl Edwards coming in from the wing. You know, absolutely spectacular goals. Yeah, can't wait. Loving it. Absolutely buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, man. Okay, then. Last up. Last. Your last one. Oh, fuck. The, be the best to last, my friend. I'm joined yeah. by Mike the Turbo Sailor. My friend, what an evening. Your thoughts? No, Mark. I know. Where is he? He's got um, COVID, I think. Don't, don't, don't speculate like that. Just, you know, he's, he's ill. But he's Ill. wishing you all the love, Mark. Get well soon, my friend. Get well, Mark. <sighs> we miss you. He's got a breadstick backbone. Don't tell anyone. Good luck, Matt. <laughs> anyway, my friends, your thoughts on tonight's 3-0 oh, win? Gee, it was it was like it's like cracking walnuts at Christmas, wasn't it? It was really difficult to get. Half and oh, half. they we? were Ooh. they were they were really really terrible to get through. I think I counted like 13 men behind the ball at one <laughs> point. It was it was it was insane. But when that first first one went in. Oh, I thought they were go they were going to go down the other end and score, mm. but we got a second. And when that second one in, did you did you see it? Yeah, I was like, <sighs> like a wave of blue that just spread yeah. out across East Anglia. It did. Yeah, right the way towards Cambridge. Yeah, I think it got to Cam Cambridge Services on the A14. Decent right? services, by the way. Just Newmarket, yeah. Ely, the Fens, all of them, Cambridge. Saffron Walden, yeah. it just all turned blue. Boom. As soon as that second goal went in, it went blue. You could hear it. You could hear it from where I was, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my great, it? We just have to get up the, uh, get up and uh, turn the yellow bit blue as well, and that'll be it. We're good. But that was good, putting them in their place after last season. Yeah, because yeah, we, 
at Cambridge, 2 0 down, then 2 2. No, 2 1, 2 0 up, and then 2 2, and then they beat us here. I hope the A14 is not flooded with tears <laughs> as they go down it, because I've got to get down there. Oh, I know. I know. You've got to go across the water and everything. Yeah. What did you want to ask me anyway? It's just, it's just a great evening, my friends. It uh, was, it was just, good. Uh, just, uh, I'm so happy for Eduardo, I'm yeah. so happy for him. It's, um, it's long overdue. Yep. I don't know. He didn't know he was going to score that first one, did he? <laughs> oh, but I think he meant it. Why I not? think he meant it. But he's dancing. Yeah, that's what you like to see. I used to, be, I used to be able to dance like that. Yeah. Can't do it now. Oh, come on, take it away. No, 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 you're all right. Okay. My knees are bad now. Anyway. Anyway, final word, good. my friend. Final friends. word. I thought you were going to say a final word. Give me a final word. Well, it's good, isn't it? Uh, so it's two, two wins. Yeah, back yep. to back wins. Yep. Which we don't do a lot of. We didn't do a lot of last season. And, sheet. and we've got another two very winnable games coming up. Yeah. Plymouth went 90 plus one minutes, took Wednesday out of the picture. Four point gap. Keep, it, keep that gap growing. Grow that gap now. Mm. That's all I want to see is that gap grow. And then hopefully by March, April time, we can look at the table and go, well, we don't even need to turn up now. We yeah. won't, we're, we're up. Just, just, just stroll over the line. Yeah. Is it, gonna is it gonna be this year, man? Is it gonna be this year? Put your spot now. I, I think, right, that if, I think we're gonna finish top two, right? Yeah. I'm so certain about it that I'm willing to set up a GoFundMe page and have my head shaved if we finish in the top two. You heard it here first, right? ladies and gentlemen. But I need sponsors. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do it for a quid. Who's going to do it then? Who's right. going to shave it? 50p from you, like, you know. I'll, get, I'll give you more than that. Well, let's, I don't know. I'd like one of the players to do it. I don't know. Maybe the money could go to one of their favourite charities or something. Yeah. But well, it's got to be top two. Yeah, it's got to be top two. Yeah, you've got top two. Yeah. If you, so if you don't get top two and you bottle it, then charity. I'll do with a haircut. I like it. I like it. It suits you, my friend. But thanks for joining me. Yes. Thanks for watching game day. What a game day it was. It and was. I'll see you in Morecambe. You get me in Morecambe? You did it last year, didn't you? I don't know that. Yeah, I did it all last year. I'll be on iFollow in France. Oh! See you in